it is 4 a.m. right now. I am packing to go back to where I started. I look very tired right now because I woke up at 1 and start working. We don't actually have that much time to chit chat, so let's get going. A little life update. I flew back to China after living in America for 13 years, trying to fulfill a silly little dream I had for a long time. I want to surf the entire China. I'm not sure if you remember last time I actually took you to the same city with my mom. And you guys all love my mom, so thank you. Last time I took you here, there wasn't really waves. This is insane! Oh my god, there is waves! This is so sick. I never thought I can surf in China before, but I guess I can. But this time, there is typhoon, which means there is waves. A typhoon just hit and it passed by China a little bit where it created a small swell in a coastal town called Shangye Wan. It's actually closer to the end of typhoon, which means if we don't leave now, we might miss the only chance to surf there this month. Currently, we're in Guangzhou, and to go to the closest sea, it's about 2.5 hour drive. I took a taxi there, which cost about $120, but if you take the speed train, it'll be a lot more faster and cheaper, and I'm gonna show you how to do it when I'm coming back. Despite the fact they're still in the same province, the weather changed quite drastic. Guangzhou was quite sunny today, but right after we hit Huizhou, I started to hear thunder, and it started pouring rain. I do not have a place to stay yet, but I found a surf shop where I can rent a surfboard. This is the only surf shop I found in this town that have a good selection of surfboards. I figured once I find a board, <laughs> the rest will come easy. Wow, this is insane. It's quite difficult to find a good board selection in this city. I just hit jackpot. So I guess I'm sleeping here tonight. Turn out they have a room upstairs that I could rent. And they offered to drive me to the surf spot as well. So I told you, if you follow the surf, everything else will be taken care of. We're on our way to try a vegetarian restaurant. The owner offered discount to surfer, which is kind of funny to me, because surfing is not very popular in China yet. It costs about 25 RMB, which is $3.5 for an all-you-can-eat. Rumor that a couple of surfers love this spot during COVID and they kept eating here even during that difficult time. So the owner honored the surfer price to today. So basically you just scan the code. So it say that it just received 25. It was interesting to me that vegetarian places like this usually are connected to temple and the money we are spending here go toward the temple. I love mushroom. This is like heaven for me. I'm not exactly sure about this one though, because I don't know the history about this place. Oh, oh my God, this is literally my favorite. It's like taro. It's so expensive in the state, but they have that too. And this is soup. 
Damn, this is literally my heaven. And then there's like appetizer. Wow, this scene is so good. You just gave me so beautiful scene. Thank you. Is there anything more you want to say? You just take this to make money too much. Oh, yeah. I take this to make money too much. Oh, yeah. 记得，这算是记得。他钱去哪里啊？人家这里的钱都是拿去给庙了吗？不知道，不知道。Now we are fat. Let's check some ways. First stop is actually the same spot I took you in the first episode. Some deja vu right here. This is the first way I stand up in my motherland. After ten minutes, it start pouring again. It's raining super hard right now. So we get back in the car and drive around. Kanga, he's a surf shop founder. He suggests we go check a spot called Couples Island. <laughs> Sounds like a reality show. Uh, we're ready to go to Qingren Dao. Now the wind is a bit strong. The rain makes it hard to see and drive. But this low-key gets me excited because that means the swell is still here. Kanga thinks it might be better at another spot. We decided to keep driving. If we keep driving along the east coast, we might find something. Ooh, you can barely see it. It's too high. Now, this village is called Gaoyang Wei Village. So, here in the summer, the wind is also good. He showed me to a spot called Gaoyang Wei. You can kind of tell the heavy rainfall by all those little palm the rain created. The wind, or the east wind, all have this kind of power. Good. 很大，而且你抓一个浪，最后可能会跑到很远。你你如果从直接回去的话，基本上消耗了绝大部分体力。This is a beach break, and with heavy current, I honestly don't think this is the best option for me for the first time surfing here. Just like all the other surfer who are highly proficient, I decided to go back to the previous spot we checked before and surf there. We park next to the freeway and back to Couples Island to surf. The rain gives me chill, and I have a hard time to see. It's the first time I am surfing here, so please have low expectation. <laughs> and honestly, it's quite cute. They have all this dirt bag made stairs to prevent surfers slipping. I'm not sure what those tubes are for, but I'm a bit scared that if they're actually going toward the ocean. I surfed in this city before, but I never surfed at this spot. So I got super excited, but also nervous. Normally, I don't surf beach bottom with a longboard. Beach bottom tend to close out a lot. I see that. The wave condition is not super clean because the wind. So it took me a while to get out. It's the first time I'm using this surfboard as well. I'm honestly not used to riding it. So let's just try one more time. I'm so nervous that I thought the wave is more powerful than I thought just because, again, it's beach bottom. I got PTSD. Turn out it's softer than I imagined. Oh no, another one. <laughs> Damn it, I went to the wrong side. I should go to the right. I missed the wave again. <laughs> Honestly, I have so much fun even though I ate so much shit today. And the rain made me feel like a main character. Maybe this one? The surf shop brings another board to let me try. Honestly, this is kind of fun. It's a lot more easy to paddle, and the turn is faster. And yellow is my color. <laughs> I am exhausting. Paddling in beach break is like a cardio workout. Because to get every weight, you need to turtle roll at least four times. <laughs> I am in survival mode right now, so <laughs> I wish my body had the power to try out the board longer. So I can feel I'm getting a hint now, or just sit for the waves and getting a feel of the board. But 
I can also tell that the waves might be smaller already. It was raining so hard, like at first you can't even see the waves because it's raining so hard. But I have so much fun. <laughs> oh my god. The only thing I bring today is a beach cover up my sister got me from Hawaii. I double it down as a changing towel. If you want any tips of changing on the freeway, drop a comment down below. I got some tips and tricks for you. When we get back to the surf shop, there's more people than I imagined. It seems like the vibe is someone just purchased a surfboard and his friends are just so excited for him. <laughs> the owner of the shop invited me to eat dinner with them. Wow, <laughs> Turn out this is the weekend crew where they call the city surfers. They have normal 9 to 5 and can only come surf during the weekend. Throughout the dinner, people ask me questions and I got to answer them. I feel like I get to know more about this town than I have been the first time while I was here with my mom. The shared interests help me get to know them faster. I do feel like we need more time to be here to find a deeper connection I was looking for. But that is for the next episode. <laughs> I lost my voice today a little bit because yesterday I was surfing the rain and <laughs> switch water technically. I don't think this town has like good water filter system because my friend was joking that they really never seen like a filter place when they're living here. So <laughs> I'm joking. I have lots of boob rash because of the surfboard. Basically, when you paddle, skin and the board kind of like create friction, therefore there's like rashes. Usually it happens when you use like old boards because if you run a board, most likely those wax are pretty old. But for my case, it's actually the wax is too hard. I'm actually living in the surf shop, so like they have so many brand new boards they let me use. And this board actually, the wax is pretty new. It's just that the wax is a little bit hard. Surfing is still new in China, so we don't actually have like a dominant wax brand. Like in America, everyone uses sticky wax, sex wax, but here everyone kind of uses whatever they can find. In this surf shop, we have wax from like a Taiwanese brand, but unfortunately it felt really hard. Like I feel like I'm using a base coat, so it rubbed on my boobs kind of, it hurt. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I get from like a Chinese pharmacist and they suggest me to use this because there's not Vaseline here. So right now I'm actually going to take you to breakfast. Like traditional breakfast, it's dim sum. Chinese tapas kind of, but in a breakfast theme. Imagine if you go to church every Sunday. Instead of doing that, we go to have dim sum with our family. <laughs> so let's go. After last night, I'm a lot more closer to the people here. So I feel so much more comfortable when eating breakfast together. They start joking about me sometimes. I think that's quite cute. This is my favorite. It's like a shrimp covered with rice paper and it's crispy inside as well. So it's soft outside, crispy inside. And chicken feet is quite tender. Even though it might look scary the first time you see it, but just trust me, it's really not that bad. Like this one, they put tons of herb in it and the soup. They say it's good for your skin if you eat a lot of chicken feet. But again, I don't know if it's true. Now we are fat, so let's check the surf again. But the typhoon has left kind of variety. Today might be the last day we can even surf. So I hope the wind is not too messy for the waves. I'm a pro at being useful in the rain today after yesterday's practice. I did not even trip one time. <laughs> I feel like a superwoman now. 
the goal of today is just less boob rash and more waves. We went back to the same spot like last time and I feel so much more comfortable with the board and the wave. It's quite messy today. Barely anyone catching waves and the waves break everywhere because the wind. So it was hard to catch one wave or even get out to the line though. But I'm pretty happy, at least I got some. I did drink a lot of water because I was biting the camera, paddling out. And when you're paddling out with a camera, you kind of just have to drink a lot of water through your nose. And please try not to drink the water here. It does not taste good. <laughs> this is my backside and I'm definitely nervous. They were making fun of my arms, like why do I move so much? I mean, you tell me. <laughs> is it really that bad my arms are moving? Actually, please don't tell me. I don't think I can't handle any criticism on my surfing right now. My heart is so fragile. <laughs> For a quick lunch, it took me to a popular spot where surfers go because it's cheap and fast. Imagine this is a Panda Express that's opened by a local family and for two main course and two side dish and a soup, you pay I know this is a long vlog and to anyone who watched to here, I really appreciate your time. If you want to support me, just hit the like button. It goes a long way. This is the first time I took the Chinese fast train. It's a bit nerve-wracking because there's so many people. This pressed me out. My friend told me to find the customer service and tell them that I'm from the countryside. They will help me out or tell them that I'm from another country and they will hold you to the seat and make sure you get there on time. And that was not a bad idea at all.